should I be taking notes or should I not be taking notes is a question. So in today's video, we are going to dive into how to take notes if that's the case and how do you use notes to help you to learn how to code. If you are interested in this topic, please keep watching. Whether or not you are a note taker or you're not a note taker, there's a few of the ways that I can introduce you to take notes and help you to better leverage this opportunity to learn how to code. So for the note takers, there's basically four ways that you can take notes. So the first way is the more traditional way, which is leverage using a note taking app. Popular one probably is the one called Evernote. We use Evernote to get feedbacks from designers and you definitely can take notes from any type of note taking apps you can purchase from like any kind of app store they usually don't cost that much and you can also build your own personal note taking apps i've definitely done that in the past it really does help because when you are using a note taking app you would be able to have the syntax highlight have a lot of customizations on your notes and being able to either print it out or even review it on other mobile devices the best way to use note-taking app is when you are at a college settings or when you are taking a course or even at a lectures um, it's easy to take notes that way and usually i'll use note-taking apps to take notes when i am going to a conference and you can absolutely use like the free resources too your ipad your iphone or even your you know computer has some preset um, note-taking applications that you can use the second way that you can take notes is by using markdown so what is Markdown? Markdown is a lightweighted markup language that often used in README. So you'll see a lot of the README files either on GitHub or GitLab or any kind of repository hosting storing services. Using Markdown is super important and it's a good way to learn how to use Markdown because a lot of the repositories or even projects has to have some sort of documentations to explain how to use their projects or how to use their developer tools. So it's a great way to to take notes within your projects and it's an easy way to communicate to other developers what your project is for. The third way that you can take notes is by using GitHub Gist. So what is GitHub Gist? So basically GitHub Gist is similar to GitHub but is literally for you to save files and snippets and code examples and being able to share it privately or publicly. So a GitHub Gist is a great way for people to take notes and it's definitely the best to store snippets, examples of config file setup. So I personally use GitHub Gist to store some useful way that I can um, help myself to remember some sort of code blocks or things that are interesting that I wanted to reuse in the future. Okay, so the fourth way, and it's probably the most traditional way, is by writing your notes down. And here are some of the actual advantage of writing your notes down. You can write it whenever you want, and you can carry your notes with you all the time. And I find myself definitely get to digest information a little bit better when I'm writing things down and try to remember things easier when I actually had that like muscle memories and when I was writing with my hands. I think handwritten notes are the best when you are following a tutorial on Udemy or you are learning some sort of like new ways to build out projects. So a few of the tips that I would recommend when you're taking notes is instead of focusing on the actual code blocks that you're trying to write it down because it's hard because it's like not syntax highlights i would recommend to take notes of the entire process so for instance if you are going through a tutorial or if you are you know learning something new i would write down like the process or the steps how you can create this project or how you can build out this application and then when you go back to actually building it on your own you can follow the steps that you wrote on your notes and see if you can recreate it and i think this would be a great way for you to kind of like gather all the notes that you have and you can probably stop blocking about that in the future if you have all those notes 
in your hand. Okay, so for those of you who are not note takers and just does not take notes in general, um, I have a few tips too. So for me, sometimes I take notes, sometimes I don't. It helps me the most when I'm Googling and learning things from articles to articles. There is this concept of repetition when you are learning to code. So what that means is, for instance, you move to a new apartment. The more that you're filling out forms and the more that you're telling people your address, you started to remember your address. That is the same concept when you are learning to code. You tend to Google a lot and you tend to Googling the same thing over and over and over and at the end of the day, it just started to create this repetition and memory in your brain that you finally remember how to do it and you don't need to Google it anymore. And I remember that when I was learning how to code, I would forgetting all these commands on git version control and I'll have to google over and over the same thing and sometimes I still do if I don't use that command for a long time but the thing is, the more that you are going to be Googling the same thing over and over, the more that you're just gonna remember it. When you have really well-organized bookmarks, it's easier for you to find the same article and read through the steps again. And if you already bookmark it, the next time when you run into the same problem, you'll be like, oh, I remember I did this or I remember I did that. And it's just so much easier for you to keep track of all the things you've Googled in the past. And you can pick and choose for the ones that are helpful for you in the future. It's a great way to kind of help you to remember things, to help you to learn to code, um, especially when you are not really a note taker. I hope that you are enjoying today's topic. I hope that you are learning something new. If you are enjoying this kind of topic, maybe you would also enjoy many other topics that I talk about coding and career advices and anything that is relating to software engineering. And um, if you are generally curious about what a software engineer do, check out my vlog videos about a day in the life of a software engineer. If you enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up, share this video with someone, and click on the notification button if you want to get notified of my weekly content on YouTube. Keep coding and keep crushing it. So I will talk to you another week. Bye.